Exercise number five is wrist flexion and extension. Again, you're gonna have your hands placed on the pillow. You're gonna interlock your hands and the movement's going to be at the wrist. Let's have John demonstrate. Yep, so you're gonna bring the wrist side to side. Let's get a minute on the clock and let's get started. The most important thing that you would, I would like you to try to do when you're completing this exercise is really try to keep your fingers relaxed. The more relaxed your fingers are, the easier and the more range of motion that you'll get at the wrist. So the movement is really happening just here. John is doing a great job removing the wrist back and forth, staying in a pain-free range. If you are feeling pain and it's not a pulling, stretching pain, then you really do want to back off. Um, but if you're feeling a, a stretching pain, hold it for a little bit. Hold that wrist into that position. Um, the position of your wrist is important when completing any kind of functional activity. So we really wanna make sure that we take our time and we look at the quality of our movements in the stretch when completing this exercise. We have 10 seconds left and we're gonna keep going. And then we'll take our 15 second rest break. How you feeling, John? Good. Good. Hopefully you guys are feeling good at home. You can take a rest. John's looking great. Hopefully you're having some decreased um, stiffness and tightness in your arms as you're completing this and regaining improved range of motion. You kind of want to keep track of how much range that you have and how much range that you're gaining. We're going to start our next um, set. We have a minute on the clock. Um, quality, I know I keep talking about that, but that is important, especially when with the stretch and with um, range of motion and you wanna make sure that you're going at your own pace, you're feeling good, looking at your posture, staying up nice and tall. There's several different ways to stretch the wrist. This one is a great way, it's easy, you can do it yourself. It's nice to be able to complete exercises at home. You are really using your unaffected arm to help move you through that range of motion and feeling good. So we're gonna have two exercises to complete after this. We're almost there, range of motion will be done. We have a few extra series in here that we wanna keep going with to kind of show you how to bring your arm into function. We have two seconds left and we're 